Greetings everyone, welcome to Monomyth, which is now in early access. But this is the demo version, but I think this is pretty much the start of the game anyway. Uh, start a new game. So I played the original demo, I think there was a second demo, and I think this is the third demo that it goes along with the early access. So we have a character here. Eesh. Hmm. This looks familiar to me somehow. Maybe it looks a bit like a Skyrim character or something. Anyway, we'll be the standard one. As a member of the noble house of Bothria, you spent your entire youth in the training shelter from the horrors of the out wastelands. You never experienced hardships that others may have struggled with throughout their lives. Yet formal education and a fair amount of exercise shaped you an adequate agent of the royal family. So we have points to spend. I'm going to put it in strength and one in vitality, I think. I've played a little bit of this uh, version already. And uh, I did run into swords that require strength right away. So I think I'm going to take that. And I'm usually not that keen on spell casting, although I'm not sure it might be very handy in this game. And I think I'll put jump higher, fall from further height, probably. This is healing, which I probably should get with the use of bandages. I'm going to take sword and axes and athletics, I think. Probably. Um, why are we not ready to go? Oh, right. We need a name. I will call him Rodolph. Start. As the sun sets on the empires of mankind, and civilization crumbles under great storms ravaging the world's surface, the people of Ariath retreat to the underground. Amidst the chaos of this dying world, your father, King Feridun III, sent an expedition to the fallen fortress city of Lysandria. It is said, that within the ruins of the fortress lies the primeval seed, a divine gift that may calm the gods' anger and put an end to the roaring thunder in the sky. Spearheaded by your own brother, the expedition hoped to retrieve the sacred object, but was never heard of again. Against your father's wish, you decide to travel to Lysandria yourself. Find your brother and retrieve the divine gift. But beware, the ancient fortress is not as deserted as it seems. So yeah, the setup is quite similar to um, the original Kingsfield, actually which it lists as a um, inspiration, so that's not, that's probably by design. Press F to uh, interact. Shrines allow you to level up. Clear your name. You have to activate at least one shrine to be revived. Uh, we cannot level up. I think we can go back here, yeah. So I already noticed something that I don't know if it's a bug or a feature or if it's by design or an oversight, but because this gate is rather slow, you could actually, I was able to just run under it. So that I was locked out of this area basically, which I don't know. Probably shouldn't happen, but at the same time, if you if you're still 
connected to the shrine, you will appear here if you die. So, I don't know. Open your inventory, tab, rotate bar, split stacks, separate quest inventory. Alright. And we have a sword. Uh, we have an arcane tome, which I have little use for because I am not a spellcaster. Although, I already found a spell that requires no intelligence, basically, so... Personal letter given to you by a Bothrian official. Dear Rudolf, I know that neither your parents nor I could keep you from travelling to Lysandria. While I understand your sentiments, you must also understand that given that the unthinkable has occurred, you are the last remaining heir to the throne of Bothria. I therefore beg you to minimize the risk. It has been decades since any of our people entered Lysandria, so our knowledge about the place is limited to hearsay. Apparently the divine gift was a relic of the Rahi cult which ran an otherwise unremarkable chapel in the Lysandria heartlands. If you wish to find your brother, you may want to start your search there to stay out of trouble. Do not trust anyone you meet on the way. Do not disclose your ties to the royal family either. Royal blood is worth gold. Even the most primitive savages out there understand that. I hope both you and your brother return safely to us soon. Best wishes and good luck, your friend. Ah. Uh, he did not give his full name. Ah, so I guess we already had a short sword and we picked up a rusty short sword so that is worse so we use our actual sword do a quick save I can pick those up and not put them down and also kick let's go this way uh, one thing I already notice that this game doesn't have which i would like to see which sh i don't know might be a little thing is a sheath button so now i could put my sword away but i'm basically switching to my second um inventory uh slot so once i get like now if i have a longbow that means that i can no longer sheath my weapon because now i'll have a sword and i'll have a bow and I kind of like to put my weapons away. You can repair your metallic equipment by heating the puppet furnace and swinging a hammer at it on an anvil. I missed that latest part of it. <laughs> you have to put it on an anvil. So I was putting my sword, heating it up and just banging on it with a hammer. Nothing happened, but you actually have to put it on an anvil. But I think right now they're both in excellent shape, so we don't need that. We have found a map, which uh, apparently the primeval seed is kept in a small chapel somewhere in the Lysandrian heartlands. I probably should make my way there. May wait, make my way there. So I guess we're there now. My brother Arius led an expedition to Lysandra in search of powerful divine artifact. He's been missing for weeks. I have to find him and his men. So I think in Kingsfield it was actually your father, but it was kind of the same deal. So we have a map, which looks kind of weird. I think this needs to load in. It looked better last time. There it goes. So yeah, we have sort of a map. Now, wooden doors can be broken down. So that is why I didn't really feel like I needed to get lockpicking, although lockpicking might be useful for other things. Um, so areas are quite dark, and you do get torches, but you also have a search option, which is pretty neat. So which makes everything... So if there was anything interactable, or anything that I could pick up, it would just glow right now. That's pretty handy, kind of. In my mind, kind of, you're just feeling around with your hands, basically, in the dark. Um, so this one's locked, but we can just break it. We can cook items. This was very familiar, having played Arx Fatalis, which is also an inspiration. You have a water flask, dough, 
which um, and a shovel which I have not found a use for yet um, wait where's my dough my dough is gone isn't it and also my water flask is gone wait what do you mean ah that didn't happen last time Load. <laughs> See if that happens again. I didn't find anything useful anyway. So pick up the map, pick up the bow. Okay, find a map. I don't know if I can kick down the door. Maybe not, maybe the foot only does stun damage. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Alright, let's quick save again and see if I actually pick up something now. Huh? Oh wait, what? Why is it over there? Alright, well anyway, I guess they were in my quick slot. That's why I didn't have them. So we can also do this. And my bottle is gone again. I guess last time when I was playing my uh, quick slot was already full. Can I do... Wait. Cannot be combined? So in Octotalis, when you had this menu open, you could uh, kind of move the camera uh, by by moving the cursor to the sides. That might be handy to have. Because now I'm basically locked to going in these directions. I can't turn. Anyway, I don't want to... call out all the things because making a game is hard and it's early access and this is I think this is just a one man job basically it's been he's been working on it for years so it's kind of a miracle that it exists already I'm gonna leave the pick locks because we are bad with them anyway Take the ale what does ale do Strong alcoholic beverage made from various roots. It tastes a bit stale, but it gets the job done. So I don't know if that regens health, but it might. This one's locked. This one is not. Uh, King's herb is... It re regenerates health, but you may feel sick afterwards. I don't know what that means. I've not felt sick yet. Um, so we could go this way. I might want to go the other way first. Let's do another quick save. This way, there's actually some combat. Do I have the right sword equipped? Yeah, I do. Oh, I forgot to bake the meat. Interact while crouching. Or something. There he is. Hello. Directional. Oh god. You can actually kick him down. There we go. Didn't get hit. I'll take your buckler, rusty saber, and gold. 
Bandage, yes, I'll take it. Bloody bandage, which we need to combine with water to clean it. Figure that one out. Uh, let's go this way first. Oh, we can level up. More bandages. Dagger, which needs more dex than strength. So yeah, you you could make it a dex character. Favorite tool of highwaymen and assassins. Uh, I... Yeah, you can see a bit if you use search. Nothing there. You can lean. So you can be kind of sneaky if you wanted to. Some objects can be set on fire with a spell or a torch. That's pretty neat. Uh, this. There it goes. Torches run out pretty fast. So I don't want to oh, waste them too much. And these are sculptures, so they bolt it down. Can I take all the torches? Uh oh. I think that's the, the same sound as um, Dishonored when something spots you. Something is already. This might be my shield. Probably isn't. Wasn't that good to start out with. There he goes. Uh, moldy bread. Let's see. Uh, damaged. What about this one? Worn. Probably better than damaged. So yeah, this is this this is kind of stuff that obviously needs work. As you can see, these are clearly this is um, out of aspect. But then again, you know, being still in development, that's probably something. Um, I, I can understand that's probably something that if it works I'll just leave it and I'll, I'll get the stuff that that isn't working um, and I'll, I'll fine-tune it later on that looks like a spider over there but I'm not sure it's not moving though uh, should I go the other way uh, the door that I burned down or is this the door that I... No, it isn't. And I should also get back to... The shrine. Ah. A harpy root. Glowing root, giving off pugnant smell. Consumed, it extracts, strengthens the leg muscles and allows to jump higher for a short while. An odd preserved act. Eating it will shortly increase your speed. Do I have enough room? Just. I, I should probably... Shouldn't be. Can I be combined? Wait, what? Okay. Just leave it over there. Anything else in here? No. Oh. Hang on. That might work. Could try it now. So, 
The one thing I picked up said something about... You can jump higher for a while. Let's see if that works. Yep. Alright. Summon Mushroom. Learn a new spell. Where am I? Oh, I think... Ah, this is what we just were looking at. Can I still jump high? I think I can. Let's see if we can make this jump. No, I just lost it. <laughs> Let's reload. Uh, I think we could go down here. Yeah. Whoa. Mushrooms. Which regenerate mana. shrine open your inventory yeah automatically equipped yeah seems kind of odd that I guess the it's kind of tough when the game is open end like this to know where your player is going um, so this one is better than the buckler I'm pretty sure we'll leave this one here We'll uh, I guess leave this as it is. Am I carrying anything that I shouldn't? Serviceable. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I also have the saber, right? Which is damaged, so that's not very good. Although we could repair it if we get back to the beginning. Let's see, let's get strength. And let's get more strength. Why not? And then we'll probably get some vitality. And let's get two more points in this. And I don't know. Maybe I should just put everything in swords and axes. I'm not really sure if there's anything yet that um, why we need to put in anything else just yet. Pick locks. No. Maybe maybe that's search func function. You can also level up search. Gold bracelet. Which I think we put on right away. Yeah. Fine piece of jewelry, but it has no practical use for an adventurer. Might be able to sell it. To use your equipped weapons, yeah, that's fine. Um, this leads back to where we were, I think. Yeah, well, this is back to start. All right, so I'm gonna repair my weapons. Yeah, I know. Excellent, there we go. Alright. Very hot. Uh, wait, wrong one. rusty one right yeah put that over there uh, this one as well not using it this one as well uh, can I clean this do I have I have some water over here hang on clean 
Uh, how do I? There we go. Put that over there. He's over there. He's there. Can I put this? No, it doesn't work. What about shovel? Yeah. All right. Not a bad idea. Making some room. Nope. Cook this one up. I don't know. Do we even? I guess. All right. All my stamina. I think. There we go. Excellent. So is this? I don't think it's better than the uh, this kind of the, the short sword. I think the short sword is still. Forty-one, thirty-four, thirty-four, thirty-nine, thirty-two, thirty-two. Yeah, it's worse, but we'll keep it as backup. All right. Um, what happens if we go here? I think this is a dead end for now. Anything we could pick up? You are too unfocused. The bar needs to fill up before I can use it again. No. See, so yeah, I, I played the first demo to completion. I remember uh, quite liking it. It was rough, even rougher than it is now. Um, and then there was the second demo which I honestly remember not liking very much because it you were confronted with uh, NPCs quite fast I remember and the, the uh, conversation menu was just um i don't know i wasn't really uh, i wasn't feeling it but i guess speech is a skill so there, there are probably still npcs and uh, conversation in this um version or it's meant to be in the full game let's say but yeah it felt a bit off because uh, i kind of got this notion that it was meant to be um, kind of more like what I know of Kingsfield which uh, has NPCs but they don't really say that much to you and this actually had like um, NPCs um, blocked That actually had speech trees and, and uh, conversations and the writing just wasn't there yet and the interface was kind of rough so it, it, it kind of broke the, uh, the whole ambience really but I don't know maybe it's different now gotta watch out for these ones
There we go. Spell casting. Alright, let's eat. So, yeah, as you can see, if I search, it'll show up red. I should also try it if, if uh, levers and whatnot show up red as well when you're searching. Whoop, torches. Yeah, you can mantle stuff. Is that the same type of route or a different one? No, it makes you jump higher. All right. Which doesn't seem to be immediately useful. Finding something, you know. You can sprint. Oh, right. Whoop. Yeah, he saw me. The necromancer. And I'm dead. <laughs> All right, where are we? Uh, I probably didn't. I should have quick saved some more. Did I pick up? Torches. Did I go here yet? Seems like I did. All right. Let's try that again. So the uh, the points around the crosshair. That's actually your light crystal. So if I do this. I guess I'm not. Shouldn't I be in shadows now? I thought that was supposed to be how it worked. Those indicators should disappear when you're in darkness. Eh. Anyway, let's. No. Stop that. trying to there we go I'm trying to put my weapons away my brain is going uh, going into Skyrim mode This is um, mana regeneration. There we go, clean bandages. of a lever which we can combine this and the game told us to sprint so there we go Yeah. 
I was, I was thinking about something which I shouldn't be doing too hard. I'll hurt myself. But yeah, immersion in games. So one of the things I was kind of thinking about, what really helps for immersion, if if is when a game doesn't uh, acknowledge. There are, there are lots of ways for a game to be immersive course and lots of things that attribute to being immersive but one of the things I think that really helps is when a game doesn't refer to itself as being a game doesn't acknowledge itself um, as a game so it takes itself seriously in a way I don't know so this is red so I think I hit this earlier and it exploded But yeah, so, and I don't know what, what the right thing to do is when, when you want to teach uh, your players something. And I've kind of been thinking about it because there are kind of, I guess this is the best way to do it, kind of have help pop-ups. Because doing away with them uh, in this day and age, you know, there's really, people are not going to read manuals. Uh, also, manuals don't really exist anymore, although you could um, do a PDF file, I guess. Um, but yeah, so one thing you can do is have help pop-ups, which is probably the best option, rather than having a uh, kind of one of those forced tutorials from um, which we were kind of being force-fed like 15 years ago 20 15 20 years ago with all those when when like shooters became very popular on consoles yeah um please mental over this object well done crouch under this object well done that was kind of terrible actually need those in a bit so I can climb on them yeah I can use them here uh, I might need a third one So that's where we fought the Bone Mage. Uh, oh. Right, I think I need to head back for a bit. Yeah, you can actually see your legs. I always like that when games do that. Again, that helps with immersion, I guess. Inventory is full. Um, do we actually? Hey, there we go. Which for this one we need thirteen strength. So I already I found this one earlier. So I I knew we needed strength for something. The blade. Of this saber is made of crystal glass. Beneath its surface, a green shimmer. A green shimmer can be observed. Such weapons are often used to banish evil. We are in the banishing evil business. Well, not, not really. So we could go here. We could go back up, where we built the block of boxes. Kinda looks like a secret passage. Wait, another one. Okay. Oh crap. Oh crap. 
Um, oh, we dropped an item. Oh. So we... Okay, I'm confused now, I guess. Because my... My, um... Controls are inverted. Inverted? Yeah, I'm gonna die. Um, we try to best press on. We were hurting him, so that was good. But I also lost my weapon for some reason. Oh. Let's get him. Stop it. Get help. This blade actually glows, which is pretty neat, because you can use it as a sort of torch. What does Queen's Leave do? So this one regenerates health. Cure illness. Oh. Maybe I could have used that to uh, stop me from... Uh, ...what the Wraith was doing. Yeah, this doesn't stack as it's supposed to, I think. Um. Let's put this there. Should I probably should have increased the speed. That might be handy, though. I don't know how long this demo is because I've not beaten it. I think I'm about as far now as I've gotten. I think I opened up a few more doors. I, fo I found a key I seem to remember. Take it. I think that's where the key is actually that I was talking about. That opens a couple of doors. Yeah, this is good against undead, clearly. So I don't know what this does. It does something, I guess, but it just disappears. herbs yeah those aren't stacking um let's eat some bread star key and hutch secret here ah featherfall potion which is now on my quick bar. Just want to break stuff. So yeah, I can actually use benches, sit down. Does that regenerate health, I wonder? 
No. No. Uh, there's also that bed in the beginning, which I do believe you can actually sleep in. We could go here. Uh, and then we should probably level up and then maybe go back and fight that wraith. Because this is back at the beginning. Uh, yeah. Let's get Vitality. Good points, why not? Get this up to 10. Uh, maybe get... Just search. Uh, uh, uh. Intuition is very, and a very good eye for surroundings can help you spot hidden objects and traps. To others it may almost seem like a sixth sense. Respecting, become a mixed professional routine, unconscious perception. We'll realize secrets before they are consciously discovered. It's all a matter of properly listening to your senses. Yeah, why not? Although, maybe that... No, it might be... Uh, I... Cognition... Yeah, the problem is if, if something like search is linked to cognition or intelligence, we'll, uh, we'll probably have a bad time. I don't know. Let's just do it. So yeah, we can atone for sins. Consider your sins. So I'm not really sure what that means. Um, though from what I read, uh, I read a bit of the patch notes and that does talk about like a thieving, a crime system, I guess. So it might be linked to that. Uh, let's cook our fish. Trout. Trout, trout, let it all out. How are my things doing? Serviceable. Uh, let's see if I can repair this, because it seems a bit special. How's this one doing? This one's excellent. This one is serviceable. Okay, it does get hot, by the looks of it. Are those good sounds or bad sounds? Uh, it doesn't look like I'm repairing it. Um, anyway, I'll leave this here. We have a backup anyway. That there. And I think that's fine. Let's try to fight that wraith. I kind of want to see if I can beat him. This way, that way. And then I think the other way, yep. Yeah. I heard something. Probably my own, I'm probably scared of my own footsteps. Seem like a fake wall, isn't it? Anyway, was this where we fought the wraith? Yeah. Grab. I could kill that wraith real quick. No. 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 I'm not really, 
probably something you could do against that, but... You could, you could also just, um... Run away if they're casting spells. Good attempt, but not quite. Maybe I should just... Maybe this area isn't really... Oh, it's happening again. I'm not really sure why I'm losing my sword. What's the deal with that? Because yeah, I'm confused and that messes up my control, my control layout, but... Do another uh, bandage. Let's see, did the brave drop anything? Oh, my sword damaged. Yeah, probably not a very good idea to have a blade made of glass. Probably only good for fighting raves. The rave didn't drop anything, did it? No. And I guess I already... Okay, I, in my frenzy, I broke the uh, gravestone. Ancient moth dust. You were too unfocused. Anything in here? That was it. Uh, looks like I haven't been there. I could check my map once in a while, but... Or, do these actually... No. It just needs to load in. Because I couldn't really tell if I... I guess I, from the looks of it, I could go there. This is where, uh, okay, we're at the other end now. Nope. Oh, not a wraith. Also another gravestone. my gold 
bracelet. King Seb. Uh, I think I lost my sword this time, didn't I? So it looks like they're not completely immune to normal damage. The ray still died. Also, it looks like my boots are in bad shape, or my... Yeah. I don't know how to repair clothes. Should I just uh, leave it as is? Just get, I, I'm guessing that sword just breaks at some point. I may have lost it, but I'll leave it for now. Let's eat something. Um, or use a bandage. No, I'll... I'll This is the area where all those red spirits were going when I plonked those gravestones, so maybe there's something back there. You can change the FOV if you want. I left it as is, but it might be a little cramped. Or maybe you want it even more cramped. I don't know. It's open now because I broke the gravestones. Uh oh. Oh, is it, it's a bad one. <laughs> it's knocking up the ground. Hmm, that might be something worth looking into. I wasn't really trying to break that door down, of course. Wait. New shoes! Needed those. And those are... Fireberries. A hand-sized explosive in the shape of a small vase. Alright. Um, what about ancient moth dust? A bag of old brown dust. It is said that moth dust can dispel arcane effects. Oh. I guess we could have used those with the rays. A silver skull. Which is important. I think... Whoa. This looks like a trap, doesn't it? But I think I already stood on it. Nothing there. Does this lead to somewhere where we've been? I'm taking your arrows. If they are yours, I am sorry. Okay, let's not fall down. Oh, this this is where we fought the necromancer, I think. Another strange egg. Lockpicks. Is 
is it. intending to do. There we go. Otherwise, I would have picked up those mushrooms. Anyway, I'll go here. We can level up. I'll level up, and then we'll uh, we'll call uh, we'll call it call it a day. Nope, wrong way. Here we are. Let's get, um, okay, two points, uh, let's do search, I guess, or towards an axis, I don't know, one each, fine, and, um, sure, let's get 15 strength. Mm. All right, and, um, that is it for uh, Monomyth. Well, I might pick it up again and see if we can actually finish the demo. And um, yeah, as I mentioned, there is an early access, which I guess is, is well, it should be uh, bigger than the uh, the demo, although I've not finished the demo yet, clearly. Um, yeah, so that is it. Thank you for watching and um, farewell. <laughs>